for talking to me. Now, have a look at that behind me. One more story to, to squeeze in before we close, because the largest study ever of ancient cat DNA has found the domestic cat was actually tamed twice. Farmers in the Near East were probably the first people to successfully tame wild cats about 9,000 years ago. A second wave happened in ancient Egypt a few thousand years later, where cats seem to have been extremely popular. Let's find out a little more about this with our science reporter, Helen Briggs, who's here with me. So, Helen, how did cats first become domesticated? Well, if you think back to farming, so back to about 9, 10,000 years ago, so when farmers began to grow crops bring in grains, store these grains, then you've got mice, you've got rats uh, flocking around them. So wild cats um, started to move in. And wild cats are quite solitary creatures. They don't normally live alongside people, but they crept in and that was the process where they started living alongside human beings and then um, started their great spread around the ancient world. And the spread, how, how did that actually happen? Well, they went along with the first farmers, um, we don't know how, it may have been accidental, it may have been deliberate, um, on boats, that kind of thing. And then there was a second wave out of ancient Egypt and uh, it seems that cats were very popular in ancient Egypt uh, and they started um, spreading along maritime routes. So they were definitely spreading along on boats, on ships. Uh, and it's fascinating how they've been actually discovering all of this. Tell me a little more about how they got the DNA, the sources, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, all sorts of things from mummified cats. They found in ancient Egyptian times, sometimes cats were mummified from Stone Age sites. Uh, all these sorts of areas where cats have been living alongside humans um, and, and have been buried and they extracted DNA from their teeth and from their bones to really look back into the past, a window into the past. Well, Helen, uh, absolutely fascinating. We're going to leave it there. Thank you very much. We're nearly out of time, but before we go, I just want to uh, take you back to Brussels and show you the live pictures there because that news conference we've been telling you about, you can see the room is filled, the flags are there. The first day of these Brexit negotiations, we are expecting uh, Michelle Barnier and David Davis to come out and tell us how that first round 